Okay, so today we're leaving the site we're on now and uh, we're actually going to go and do a lot of wild camping this time. Good few days in a row. We're going up to... Uh, where are we going again? This trip. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I was thinking Yorkshire Moors. We was thinking of going there, but uh, we've changed our minds. We're going to the Peak District, uh, but before we do, we've got to go and get the van sorted. We don't worry, nothing really bad. Just that the tracking's out. It's been tracking's been out for a while, and he's doing. And before we do a, a big trip like this, we make sure it's working properly. Because otherwise, I'm going to wear a tire out. The right at the minute, but I just need it doing. And hopefully, they'll sort out the uh, TPMS, which is the tire pressure monitoring system, which keeps alerting me to low and high tires, which you know pressure tires. And uh, it's, it's a load of rubbish. It's uh, it needs sorting out, and apparently they can do that as well. And they've said they'll do it for free. So that's good. So I'm gonna go out now, just unhook us, and then we can leave. So that's the last thing to do. We've been tidying up, haven't you? Been tidying up as well. Yeah. Everybody's been tidying up. Have you been tidying up? <laughs> no, you've been getting in the way, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go out now. I'm gonna go and get us unhooked, and then we're gonna get going. So back in the morning. Okay, so that's the electric unhooked, we've emptied the toilets, we've uh, filled up the water, we're well, not filled up, we've put half, we've got half the water in there because we don't we don't fill up because we're travelling, So, but because we're doing wild camping we've got to sort of judge how much we need, so we've put half in and to be honest we'll probably end up with still some left after even four or five days, so because we're pretty good with that. So uh, but that's that done. Uh, cover is off the windscreen. So that's done. The now manual steps <laughs> is uh, is done. Bungee cords. <laughs> um, very safe, it's okay. And that is about it. So uh, yep, we're ready to go, so let's go. Okay, so we've uh, come away from Britannia Tyres uh, in Nuneaton. We was in Nuneaton, uh, Britannia Tyres. Uh, just thought I'd let you know that. Uh, very good company, uh, as far as I'm concerned, because I've been there for a few years, uh, well, many years, with all the different cars I've had <laughs> uh, when I needed tyres or whatever. And uh, yeah, excellent. And uh, today, brilliant. The, the tracking weren't enough to them to bother with, so that's a good thing, because at least I know it isn't that bad. Um, Tire pressures, do just a little bit up and down. He's met them uh, all, uh, what did he say, 60, 69. Yeah, all 69. Uh, the TPMS is a bit of a pain in the backside. And he explained to us that it was set up for tire pressures that are way more than what these tires can handle. So whoever put these tires on, he says it's the right tires for a camper but you should have, well, you don't have to, but you can have higher pressured tyres on these as well. And he, he says, your TPMS is set up, so it requires more. I think it's uh, it looks it's looking for 75 PSI. 
um, he says so if you ever feel like getting new tires in the future uh, that's if you did do that he's not saying I've got to do that he's just saying if you did do that then the uh, TPMS obviously then will be okay he says but he says these are a problem these TPMS especially with the French vehicles he says so uh, and there's so I've just basically got to ignore the thing that keeps coming up on the screen or at least keep an eye on it he says because if you can you see how they are now and you see them go down from that then you know that so so tpms is actually now showing the right things and whatever it's, it's a bit long-winded but but basically i ain't gotta worry about it that's the main thing because uh, especially today because we're going to the peak district so um so right now uh we've stopped and we can see or not because the light comes through the window yes we're in the oh there's charlie he's, he's, he's licking himself now as i'm doing this video some funny sounds behave yourself hey go behave yourself Look, you on camera. Look, they're watching you. <laughs> so yeah, we're just uh, stopped off at Lidl. I just got to get a few bits and bobs. No, we're not panic buying, by the way. <laughs> no way, we're not doing any of that. We just need, need some bits and bobs. That's all. Um, and we have got plenty of toilet roll. Before you ask, <laughs> well, we haven't got tons, but we've got just enough. So, and that's how it should be. So anyway. So we're just getting some bits and bobs, some grub, you know, um, before we leave. I've then got to stop, um, which I probably won't bother filming because it's pretty quick in and out. I've got to go and get some tablets uh, from the chemist because uh, I've got a prescription I have regularly. So uh, I've got to go and pick them up. And then we are literally then on the way to the Peak District. So, um, and I've got the drone batteries uh, charging up earlier. So uh, hopefully where we're going to be parked up, we'll have some nice footage of the area. That'll be really good. So um, yeah, just waiting on Jan now and, uh, and then we'll be on our way. So uh, see you in a bit. <laughs> Made it. I'll show you now what our view is from our van in the next few days. Are you ready for this? Let's make sure I can see the camera. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Oh my god. Sheep everywhere. There's a 
there's a village town of some sort over there it's like a power station or something in the distance probably the church to start with look at this and here's where we are it's a cafe up there I should have put my microphone on with the wind thing on it sorry about that Oh my god, and look, look, there's a little bench. I shall sit down on said bench. You can see me or not. But this is pretty damn amazing. Uh, you can't see me very well there, can you? So. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. I can't believe it. It's quiet as well. It's so quiet. I've just got a breeze coming across. Not not a gale force. It's just a good breeze. It's not that cold. I'm in just my t-shirt here. Sitting on this bench. Which has got some plaques on, actually. Sure that's about. Alright, yeah. Jan's in there. We just had to uh, pick up a load of, clear up a load of puke. Because <laughs> as we reached only a couple of miles out after all the traveling we'd done, a couple of miles out and uh, Charlie decides to throw me. Right where I've got my pedals. <laughs> Some driving, so that weren't very nice. He couldn't help it. It was all the twisting and turning on the roads. Just down from um, Blue John's Cavern. That's it. I think I'll go right this time. Uh, recommended to me by uh, Off Grid Nomad UK, Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. Absolutely brilliant, like you said. Absolutely fantastic. It was about, uh, we had to travel about 70 odd miles to get here from where it was before. And the view is just, just so worth it. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And, um, I'm not going to do it now, but maybe tomorrow I'm going to get the drone out. I think I can fly my drone. It's a bit windy though. I've got, I've got to watch out for the winds. Um, we'll have to see. Um, I should be alright. So anyway, I'm going to sign off now and uh, join me in the next video as we show a bit more of the countryside off. And I'll be giving Charlie a walk as well. So, uh, so that's it for now. So thanks for being with us. and. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Ta-da.